I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Botanist. What do you need? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. So long. Hello. What else? If you need something specific, please make it quick. Otherwise, excuse me, I have work to attend to. What do you want to know? What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. You happened. It wasn't just you, we had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Okay. This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. I could tell you all about the science lab. But even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. Good luck finding your father.
Hey, please excuse down. me. There is much work to be done. an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Well, I was hoping you'd realize what I want. I want you to get the Declaration for me. The Declaration would tie this collection of documents together so well and give it the patriotic meaning it deserves. If you can find it for me, I'd be sure to make it worth your while. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. In the D.C. ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. Well, um, this is quite embarrassing, actually. I sent someone like yourself after the declaration. She did some of the research for me. But now I haven't seen her in a few months. I wouldn't worry about it. Many have died for causes far less grand than what you're about to undertake. A piece of what was called parchment, sort of a thick paper, has faded handwritten writing all over it. It's no more than two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. On July the 4th, in 1776, a group calling themselves the Second Judgmental Congress got together at Fort McHarry in Maryland. After a ceremony which ended with Paul Revere singing the famous battle hymn known as the National Anthem, the document was signed. From there, it was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. Thus began the Evolutionary War. Certainly. It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Oh? And have you come to any conclusions? Ah. Un it 
this man. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the society's collection here. You can find. Remember? Looking for troublemakers, have you seen any? I do the repair. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. I'm the only one willing to fix it. I'd rather be alone just now. Good to see you.
I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. Hey there. No problems to report, I assume. What? Excellent! Find this Pinkerton and interview him. He may very well know the android's whereabouts. Well, go! What? Really? Here? Surely not one of Dr. Lee's trained monkeys. Well, find them! The person you're looking for can perform facial reconstruction or a sophisticated computer memory transfer. Go on, shake a leg! Excellent news! We're close. So close. Find this Pinkerton. Learn everything they know. I want that damned android, and I want him now. That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want hey to live there. my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. I'm but flying. I know better now. If you want something better than that pea shooter, stop by flying and shrapnels. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I we usually have a few. I have to check to the inventory. Me, but I know all the Stop by the, the shop. Either shrapnel or I will I show you what you. we've got. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. You mean my genius final boy? Rebellion against a system I no yeah, I've heard of him. In. Supposedly Goodbye, built Zimmer Rivet City. Good they probably think he invented bread, too. Idiots. Lately, he's even been blamed for the noises in the broken ship bow. Anyone with half a brain would know that's just the mire lurks. Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions down on the lower deck. Fine. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers.
Straight to the point, I like that. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Never met the man myself, but rumor has it he helped found Rivet City. Some rumors say he died trying to loot the broken bow of the ship. Others say he joined up with the Enclave. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the Council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the Council. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the Council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the Wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Come back soon. Welcome. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of the shop. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. We've got all kinds of chems.
thanks. Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. The Muddy Rudder. Bell waters down the liquor, but it's cheap. It's on the lower deck. Nice to see you again. Are you looking... We've got all... Give me a shout if you need anything else. I Cut it out! Hey there. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. What you looking for? Give me a shout if you need anything else. I'll be right. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders, and maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Well... One of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Really? Oh, thank you. I just know I can seduce Diego with this. Then he'll have to marry me. <laughs> we'll be so happy. The place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Here's a menu. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Hey.
Hey, be more careful. What do you want? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Of course I'm not afraid. I'll take it and he'll never know. I'll have it by tomorrow. It's a boat. A really big boat. Yeah, Dad built it to fight out the Mirelurks. And Mom, she's like the Mirelurk queen. Whatever. What's your problem, mister? Whatever. Good to see you. Hey there. I'm Tammy. Have you seen my good-for-nothing son lately? The little shit is usually up to no good. What a load of crap. Obviously you've never had to take care of some squealing little brat. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, really? My husband ran off and got himself killed, and left me to raise his little brat. So don't you tell me how I should or shouldn't be. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah, that's James. My own little troublemaking brat. I'd sell him to you if they'd let me. Unless you've got any more personal questions, I'm busy. What do you have? I'll say when I've had enough. You aren't my... Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. Can't help you with the history, honey. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? What a moron. Always going on about how he started Rivet City. Who gives a crap? Right before he disappeared, he was going on about some newfangled contraption he was sure was in the broken bow of the ship. Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. What the hell do you want? What'll you have? Be right here when you get thirsty. Yes? Don't tell me your problems. Don't tell me your problems.
I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. She is the patron saint of lost children, very popular among the faithful of Rivet City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. To Pinkerton at Rivet City. He doesn't remember his old life, and now he can't be forced to betray us. The Lord will protect us, but just to be safe, we've shut down the railroad. Agents of the Commonwealth are still looking for him. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. St. Monica bless you. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Let... I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. Oh yes, Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Father Clifford, the sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The Good Father holds services every Sunday morning. I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders, until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. God bless you. Me or a security officer know if you see anything. Is there a problem? Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend, dead or long gone. Don't care much, as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Carry on.
Yes. Okay, I've got a lot of repairs to make. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. You shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Welcome to the Weatherly, Mr. Buckingham at your service. I serve Miss Vera Weatherly, proprietor of the Weatherly Hotel. Not that it's any of your business.